We've had to wait to make this video until we've been back from San Diego for a little while because we were all nerded up on geek energy, seeing the Aptera in person. And we really wanted to give you an honest idea of what we think of this company uh, without all of the, uh, the really good stuff. Giddiness. The giddiness. So <laughs> the honeymoon's over. The honeymoon's over. We're ready to now ready actually to get out of infatuation and see if it's love <laughs> or not. <laughs> <So> <laughs> It, we had to really step back to, to see this because when we went there, they were so nice to us and so accommodating, and we almost felt like buddies. And, and then when you get into that, then it's kind of like, well, this is normal. But then you look back, you step back, get back to Michigan, and look back at San Diego and say, there's nothing normal <laughs> about our visit to Aptera. <laughs> nothing normal. <laughs> nothing. Yeah. And we had the, the stark comparison a few days later of going to the Detroit Auto Show with media credentials basically the same way we showed up to Aptera with media credentials to for our YouTube channel and what a different experience. Yeah, so let's really talk about different. some of those things. First of all, how many of you have toured the headquarters of General Motors or Ford? How many or a you, factory, a or single factory. location. If you don't work there, you've probably never been in a factory for General Motors and Ford. But yet when Sarah and I got to Aptera, we met Quincy there and Chris M and they took us all over the place. Chris took us all the way through the office. We got to see every cubicle. We looked in your drawers. <laughs> we know what you people are up to. Drawers. We went into your computers and read your emails. <laughs> we know Aptera now. So very open the way they treated us. And now you got to think, who are we? We've got this tiny little YouTube channel. By the way, thank you for watching and being here and subscribing if you haven't yet. Maybe we'll get a little bigger, but right now, tiny little YouTube channel. And yet they treated us like we were, you know, a major news outlet, Motor Trend Magazine or something, yeah. you know? I was like, do you, you, sure you, you know got we the don't right have people? any awards we can give, right? If we did, we would give you one, but we don't have any. But even before, like you said, we got a tour of the offices and stuff. But even just when we arrived for the event, when they opened the doors, I, <laughs> I'm thinking, okay, I need to stand in line and I need to register with someone or something. And then I can see Aptera over here. There's no ropes around it. There's no glass, glass around, around it. it. There's nothing. It wasn't Gamma yet. It was one of the Alpha. It was two of the Alphas were there. But nonetheless, I'm thinking, can I just go over there? And before I know it, a bunch of people who were also there are going over there, checking it out. And by the end of the night, I had sat in it, I opened the doors, ridden in it. I mean, it was crazy. I just, I couldn't believe it. It was fantastic. So here's just another comparison. So Sarah and I have both give, been given a ride in the original prototype, the Alpha. Mm -hmm. We both sat in and went through in great detail the latest version, the Gamma. Yep. And we got to see up close and personal the Beta, that is the test vehicle. And we were thinking as we got back and reflecting on the trip that we've never been invited to General Motors. We've never sat in a prototype of the, the, the Hummer. Um, actually, we sat in the Hummer itself at the Detroit Auto Show, but it, we never got to see it. But you can tell it. they didn't like it. But they didn't. Yeah, you could tell they were like, how long are you going to be here? How long are you going to stick around? And then, okay, anyway. So the, the, the point is, we go to California as a tiny YouTube channel and we're treated like we belong there by this company who says, here, the doors are open. I want you to look at everything we've done and feel free to talk about it to your audience. Yeah, yeah. Now, Ford... It's just down the street. You know, Chris Farley's cousin doesn't return my calls, mm -mm. but in my phone, I have phone numbers for the people that work in Aptera. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mary Barra from GM, she doesn't talk to us. We're practically neighbors. We might as well be related. She yeah. lives over there. Yeah, I could meet her for coffee and do an interview any day, <laughs> any day of the week. Both of my grandpas retired from GM. You think that gets me any clout with those guys? Nothing. <laughs> That is Sarah's grandpa built the building that GM operates out of downtown Detroit when he was in construction. Does that help? Nothing. Uh, she lives right over there, yeah. by the way. Like, I don't, when I say call Mary Barra, I'm not talking about the phone. I'm like, Mary, can we get an interview and a ride in a prototype? No, no answer. Well, but also, I, like I said, we were going to compare our visit to Aptera with the Detroit Auto Show. There was a prototype or two there. They were behind glass. Completely enshrined I promise you there was no suggestion box where you could freely say, hey, you know what would really make this great? I if, don't like the cup holders production. in the Buick Wildcat. <laughs> yeah. I don't like the cup holders. First of all, you couldn't see the cup holders in there because it was on a pedestal and behind glass. So you couldn't get to the interior yeah, the, of the, that. The Lincoln 100. I don't like the yoke. 
Yeah. <laughs> you know, we don't get to say that to other companies, but Aptera actually listens to us when we talk about stuff like that. Yeah, it doesn't mean they're going to change everything according to what everybody says. They but sure, they should change everything. They give us a voice. We get a chance to yeah. say it, and they care about what we think. And you just but don't, you don't get, get that. that. You don't get that from major automakers. Yeah. But yeah, it, the, the total number of CEOs from auto manufacturers that we've interviewed is one. Chris from <laughs> Atterra. But Mary Barra is right there. She still has our crock pot from that block party <laughs> right. that we attended together. <laughs> What's that, 96? <laughs> Yeah, but we've never sat in a Corvette <laughs> prototype, you know, and, yeah. and Chris Farley's cousins never had us over to interview. He never gave us a hug. Chris gave us a hug. Gave us a hug. <laughs> so it's just a totally different type of company, obviously. Obviously. So one thing we have really started to appreciate about Aptera is they're letting us see behind the curtain. Yeah. We can we see what's going on before it goes on. And a lot of people will complain. They'll say, oh, that doesn't make sense, or this is silly, or this should change. You don't ever see that with the other companies. That's why you have so much freeness to talk about what you think should happen, as we ourselves do, mm -hmm. so we get it. But they allow for that. What a cool company. Yeah, it was really neat. It was so open. We were free to walk up to anybody, and uh, we saw them give time and energy to lots of different people for interviews, as much time as they wanted. They were, they were so patient. It was such a long day, and they were made sure they, they told us, you know, one person was all set up with their interview, and they said, just, you know, if, you'll, if you can be patient. Like, like we're not going to be patient. Like, no, we're leaving if we don't get it now. You don't they talk to us now. So we're out nice. of here. They're like, we want to make sure you get a chance to see Gamma and you get to sit in it. And it was, they were so, they were more than accommodating. Yeah. And I do feel that if you were going to be in that area and you asked them, could I have a tour? I don't know this. Don't, don't hold Sarah, me don't to it. don't tell them that. They're going to do that. They and then might. we're going to get calls and stuff. <laughs> don't ignore that last part. I don't have time to edit all that out. But we, uh, we're going to tell you one thing we absolutely don't like about Aptera, just so you know we're being real with you. Stay tuned to the end for that. But first, have you pre-ordered your Aptera yet? If not, there's a link in the description provided by one of our viewers. We'll show you at the end. You can just save $30. It's like I might as well hand you $30. And if you change your mind, it's refundable. I'm not going to. I don't have $30. You don't have $30 to give away. But I do have a little bit of money, and that's because of our members. Thank yes, you thank so you. very much. And for those of you who have bought us coffee recently, Bob, Jerry... Thank, Thank you. you so much. We appreciate all of you. Now, uh, one more nice thing I'm going to say, then we're going to get to the ugly stuff. Some more positives. The people we met there. We met the head of marketing. Yep. Uh, we met the CFO. She's a serious character, by the way. She's got serious She's like, hey, I know you're shooting video and taking pictures, whatever. Okay, for your little YouTube whatever. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't none share of that until tomorrow no. because we need to launch this at Fully Charged Live. <laughs> hey, I respect it. And we, we did what you said to do. Just. And she record. likes cats. Also, we met Chris M and Quincy. Yes, um, those two are too adorable. You know, they're not like a, they're not a couple. <laughs> They've got their own lives, but they, they could be brother and sister. Those two, right? Yeah, yeah, I could see that. And I think they're, I think they are in the Aptera family, brother sisterish. And they're about the right age to be our children. Aww. And I just look at them, I'm thinking, our kids would never turn out this good. You guys are great. <laughs> But anyway, we met them. We met, talked to, interview, and hugged the CEO, uh, Chris. <laughs> Anthony. The other CEO, Steve, commented on our video when we mm -hmm. did the live review. So just wonderful people. It really, And we met a lot of the engineers and every, everybody there is great. Um, well, there's probably a couple that aren't great. I don't know. But the ones we met are pretty <laughs> great, we think. Yes. But, Sarah. Yes. we got to tell them what we don't like. This is the hard-hitting expose part. This is it. Are you ready? Okay, one thing we hate about Aptera Motors, I don't have mine yet. <laughs> but okay. they are working on fixing it. So let's... Well, I, there's one thing I hate. Okay. It's all the way in Carlsbad. It's all the way it across the country. It takes too far. I want to go visit again, and it's far away. You know what? They even give us presents. Aw. It's a little they... 3D printed. Um, and no, you can't have it. And I'm not. it's not going to be a giveaway. <laughs> I'm going to have this till this I die. This is precious to us. This will go in my casket with me. <laughs> But isn't that cool? A nice <laughs> present from the marketing department. So which of our viewers' code did we use for the link in the description so you can save money off your Aptera and they'll save money off theirs? Here's how we know. <laughs> That's it for this episode. There's another Aptera video right over Sarah's head. Thumbs up to you guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching. <laughs>